Hi. <laughs> Today I wanted to show you how I made this dress. Well, really just how I made the weaving detail. I did make the dress, but I made it kind of on the fly and I didn't film it. But I will link below a With Wendy video about duplicating your existing clothing with pattern making, like the basics, which is how I learned how to do this and how I ended up making this dress. But really, this is all about the deep V. Anything you have with a V-neck, a deep V-neck, something you can modify to have a deep V-neck, that's all you need. And then it's really about the grommets and the cord and the knots and the weaving. The experimentation is focused here. So that's what I did the video about. If you were a Girl Scout or Boy Scout, you're probably gonna be really good at this. I was not, so I struggled a little bit but I think I came up with something interesting. I think it looks cool. I did choose to not use the beads in the weaving and instead made knots um, to hold the sections together just because I didn't have large beads like this, but you might because they're those large pony beads you may have made bracelets with as a child. I know I used to have a lot of those, but I don't know where they are now. So I just did knots. I think it looks really cool. I like this dangly fringe effect, although I will also warn you, if you have pets, they will probably try to eat it. Anyways, here's how I made this. So like I said, you'll need something with a deep V, some cord or ribbon, an eyelet kit, and a hammer. First I worked out where I wanted the eyelets to be placed, and I decided on an inch apart, and I had eight on each side. Then just following the steps that came with the eyelet kit, which involve making a hole, pushing the eyelet through it, adding the backing on, and then hammering it in place. Once the eyelets were in place, I started cutting my cords. I did the first three eyelets with four foot cords. And with the technique here, I'm going to do a show rather than a tell because I feel like it's way easier to just watch and make up your own words for what is happening here. Once I placed a cord where I wanted it, I would knot off the ends, pushing it into the dress so that they would stay in place. I also used a lighter to burn the ends so that they would be sealed off and not fray.
For the next three eyelets, I did six foot cords, so they would be slightly longer and drape below the four foot cords. You can really get creative here with the weaving pattern, the knots that you're making. I do think it would be interesting to include beads. It's really up to your personal preference and what you think looks cool. And 
And on these last two eyelets, I did eight foot cords. I will say you should try this on and adjust as necessary. I found that I needed to untie the upper knots in order to get this over my head and you might have to do the same or you could just leave them a bit looser. But once you've got all your knots tied up, you're done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.